Hey everybody, welcome to my second video on exponents. And in my first video, I gave you a brief introduction to exponents and I went over some basic examples. And in this video, I want to go over negative exponents and also exponents on top of fractions. So in my previous video, I went over basic examples like 3 squared and that 2 exponent just means that we multiply 3 by itself two times, three times three is equal to nine. So three squared is equal to nine. But what happens if we have a three with a negative two exponent? Well, if you've never seen a negative exponent, I think the natural logic uh, would be if, if three with a positive two exponent is, is positive nine, then three with a negative two exponent would be negative nine. And if you use that logic, then you are going to be completely wrong 100% of the time. So how do we solve negative exponents? Well, the first thing I'm going to do before I solve the negative exponent is multiply by 1. Multiplying by 1 does not change a thing. A 3 with a negative 2 exponent is exactly the same as 1 times 3 with a negative 2 exponent. And you don't have to multiply by 1, but I like to do it when I'm teaching because it makes it easier to see what's happening later on in this problem. So now the question is, how do we solve these negative exponents? And what I like to do is make the negative exponent positive. And there's only one thing you have to remember. A negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So this 3 with a negative 2 exponent which is in the numerator right now, can be rewritten as a 3 with a positive exponent in the denominator. And everything else stays the same. The 1, which is in the numerator, stays in the numerator. So now we don't have any more negative exponents. We have 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 3 multiplied by itself 2 times, which is equal to 1 over 3 times 3, which is 9. 1 over 9. So our 3 with a negative 2 exponent is equal to 1 over 9. All right, let's go over another example. Let's say we have a negative exponent in the denominator. Let's say we have 1 over 3 with a negative 2 exponent. And we're going to use the same idea as we did before. We want to take this negative exponent and make it positive. And we're going to use the same rule as we did before, except this, way, this time we're going to use it the opposite way. A negative exponent in the denominator is a positive exponent in the numerator. So this 3 with a negative 2 exponent in the denominator is a 3 with a positive 2 exponent in the numerator. And we can't forget about this 1, which is also in the numerator as well. But uh, multiplying by 1 is, is kind of redundant. It doesn't change the problem. So this can just be simplified to 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So 1 over 3 to the negative 2 exponent is equal to positive 9. All right, let's go over another example, this time with some negative numbers. And before I do that, I'm going to erase everything. So let's say we had 6 multiplied by negative 3 with a negative 2 exponent. And remember, a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. Um, so this negative 3 with a negative 2 exponent in the numerator can be written as a negative 3 with a positive 2 exponent in the denominator and everything else stays the same. The 6, which is in the numerator, stays in the numerator. So now this fraction can be simplified even further. A negative 3 with a 2 exponent is just negative 3 multiplied by itself 2 times. And in our numerator, we have a 6. A negative 3 times a negative 3 is going to give us a positive 9. And in our numerator, we have a 6. And 6 over 9 can be reduced to 2 over 3. So 6 multiplied by negative 3 with a negative 2 exponent 
can be simplified and our answer is two-thirds. All right, let's go over one more example, this time with a fraction, and I think after this you should have a, a really good idea about negative exponents. So, so let's say we have 3 over 4 with a negative 2 exponent. And once again, I'm going to multiply by 1. 3 over 4 with a negative 2 exponent is exactly the same as 1 times 3 over 4 with a negative 2 exponent. So now let's get rid of this negative exponent. A negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So right now this, this 3 over 4 with a negative 2 exponent is in the numerator. So we could rewrite this as a, a 3 over 4 with a positive 2 exponent in the denominator. And everything else stays the same. The 1 which is in the numerator stays in the numerator. So now in the denominator we have 3 over 4 squared, so that is just 3 over 4 multiplied by itself two times. 3 over 4 times 3 over 4. And everything else stays the same, we still have our 1 in the numerator. And if we simplify our denominator, uh, we have 3 times 3 which is equal to 9, and we have 4 times 4 which is equal to 16 and in our numerator we still have our 1. So now we're dividing 1 by a fraction. Whenever you're dividing by a fraction, that is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Um, so 1 divided by 9 over 16 is the same as 1 multiplied by 16 over 9. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And this can be simplified even further. 16 over 9 times 1 is just 16 over 9. So this is our final answer. And I hope this gave you a better idea on negative exponents and fractions. Um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about the properties of exponents, exponent properties. So stay tuned for that. I really hope you're enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.